All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to solve another integral equation, but this time just using my mind instead of using computation. Are there functions f such that the integral of f times the integral of 1 over f equals x squared? And let me be a little bit more precise. By the integral here, I mean the integral from 0 to x, f of t dt, and here integral from 0 to x, 1 over f of t dt, and we want this to be equal to x squared. So this makes sense. And here we have to, we, we assume basically that f is positive, but it's also fine to assume f is negative, because you can replace this by minus f, and it's still fine. Now, whenever you see a product of things, it should remind you of a famous inequality in linear algebra and analysis called the cauchy schwarz bunyakovsky inequality. And what does cauchy schwarz say? It says that the absolute value of u dotted v, or u and v are vectors, is always less than or equal to length of u times length of v. Or if you wish, the absolute value squared is less than or equal to the length of u squared times the length of v squared. Now this is the thing that's usually taught to undergrads, but Remember, it says something even stronger. Namely, if we have equality, then u has to be a multiple of v or vice versa. u is a multiple of v or v is a multiple of u. One or the other. Now, what does that have to do with lengths? Well, notice, here's a beautiful thing. Well, it turns out this does become product of length squared because, again, integral again, of f times integral of 1 over f, again, with the assumptions from 0 to x, that just becomes integral of square root of f squared times integral of 1 over square root of f squared. But that's literally the length of square root of f squared times the length of 1 over square root of f squared, where, well, what inner product am I using? I'm just using that f dotted with g is the integral from 0 to x, f of t, g of t dt. So indeed, if you replace this by square root of f and square root of f, you get f. OK, so on the one hand, we have this. On the other hand, let's try to find the dot product of square root of f and 1 over square root of f. Well, square root of f dotted with 1 over square root of f. No, it's not 1, but it's integral from 0 to x of square root of f times 1 over square root of f dt. But now it's the integral from 0 to x of 1 dt, an antiderivative is t, so we get x. In other words, what does this integral equation say? Well, it simply says that the length of f squared, or sorry, the length of square root of f squared times the length of 1 over square root of f squared, well, it's literally x squared, so the length of, I mean, the absolute value of square root of f dotted with 1 over square root of f squared. So indeed, if you ignore the middle term, what are we saying? Well, we're saying we do have equality in cauchy schwarz And remember what conclusion we had. We have equality if and only if we have one is a multiple of the other one. So our grand conclusion is, well, we have square root of f is just a constant times 1 over square root of f. Oh, the other way around. But it's the same thing because f is strictly positive. And what this just implies that square root of f times square root of f equals a constant just by cross multiply. f is. And again, if it's continuous and everything, it's identically equal to a constant. Square root of c, but we just label it as c. And 
I was a bit skeptical about this, well shouldn't C be 1, but in fact no, because just plug this in, well do we have integral from 0 to x of c times integral from 0 to x of 1 over c equals x squared? Well yes we do, because those constants cancel out, and we get integral from 0 to x of 1, integral from 0 to x of 1, and that is x times x, so those ickies or more precisely, x squared. x squared. And again, look how cool it is. At no point did we differentiate it. At no point did we really do any crazy computations. We just use pure theory in this case, Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.